scripture tells us that the truth will set you free, and that's absolutely true. In marriage, it will set you free of your house, <laughs> and your car, and your 401k. The key to my marriage, my wife and I, by the way, have been married for 18 years. Now remember, we're originally from California. It's a state record. <laughs> People come to us all the time and say, how have you made it? What has been the key to your marriage? And we will tell them the statements of fact and sometimes law. <laughs> law too, let me give you an example. On three occasions, I've had to convince my wife that the community property laws of our state have been suspended during the war on terror. <laughs> Everything else has, all right? <laughs> I'll give you a classic example, though. Everyone in this room is used. About four years ago now, my wife, beautiful, lovely, petite woman, was pregnant with our fourth child. And she got to the point in the pregnancy where she started eating like she was in a contest, <laughs> one that she was planning on winning. She comes to me, me of all people, and says, baby, do you think I'm eating too much? <laughs> now I'm thinking in the back of my mind, no, baby, you're eating the right amount for, say, a wildebeest. <laughs> That's not what I said. I turned to her and I was like, baby, you're not eating enough. Here's another cheesecake. <laughs> you're eating for 200. <laughs> You laugh, but I'm still married, all right? <laughs> I've heard it said before, and it's absolutely true. They shall know the truth, and the truth shall make them mad. <laughs> so here's what I'm encourage you to do, is to learn to tell the truth always, but to tell it well. There is a, there, there is a, a point of telling the truth well, something to learn, especially in dealing with clients, giving difficult news. You have to tell the truth, but you want to tell it well. Let me give you an example of what I mean by telling it well or not telling it well. My then 11-year-old son and I were in the car a couple years ago. We're driving, and we're having the classic father-son debate in the car. That debate, as you remember, is over what to listen to on the radio. <laughs> he wants to listen to rap music. I want to listen to my, former, my, my favorite form of entertainment, my past speeches. <laughs> I find me endlessly fascinating. All right, never get tired of me. Problem is, is that he wins the argument because he threatened to tell my wife about the wildebeest thing. So we have to now listen to rap music. We are listening to what can only be described as a rap love song. The balladeer of sorts here, the Lothario is a very sensitive rapper who goes by the name Trick Daddy. And Trick Daddy is trying to convince the object of his affection that, 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 that she should, um, you know, will be the right word for it, um, except his overtures of love and everlasting <laughs> devotion, and using some of the dumbest lyrics I've ever heard. And I'm horrified. I'm horrified because I, I suspect this is going to work for him. <laughs> Even more horrifying is that my 11-year-old son knows every word in tune. I turn to my son when the song is over, and I say, son, do you understand anything you were just rapping? Fortunately, he says, not at all. <laughs> it's okay. At this point, it occurs to me that it's time to have the talk with him. We haven't had the talk yet, and I realize that he probably should not learn the facts of life from Trick Daddy, <laughs> but rather his daddy daddy. And here's what I mean by telling the truth well. Rather than taking some time thinking about this, figuring out the way that it would work best so everyone, so he could understand it and fully digest it, I just launch into a very detailed and medically accurate description of the process as well as I understand it. And I've been told I don't understand it that well, okay? <laughs> to which, at the end, I say, son, do you have any questions? He says, just one. Why did you tell me that? <laughs> He's quiet for the rest of the day. Goes and locks himself in his room, and a little, little while later, wife comes down and says, we have not heard from Austin. What did you say to him in the car? I explained to her what I just explained to you. She says, well, now I understand. See, I went in his room, and he just looked at me and said, how could you? <laughs> do yourself, do us all a favor, tell the truth, but tell it well. <laughs>